Another rocking day here at Farrington Stadium for ASU softball. Really the entire weekend as they put their stamp here on the regional round. And they did it with plays like this. Whenever I hit a home run or Jazz hits a home run, like it's super exciting. Like you hear like the roar of the crowd and like your ears are ringing. It's, it's super exciting. I love it. Pretty great, right? You really can't beat that. Now, despite trailing early on, ASU still did what they know best, and that's display their offensive muscle no matter the opponent. We're here. Like, we're here fighting every single day. And they aren't going anywhere. The Sun Devils took care of business in its host regional, sweeping Cal State Fullerton and San Diego State twice to earn their first Super Regional bid since 2018. Our biggest thing was just keep pushing and just keep putting up more runs. We just had to keep making sure that we kept going. I want this team with me when we go in for, for battle. Whether it's the record-setting freshman Sidney Sanders going yard, or overcoming an early deficit, I didn't really ever have any doubt, honestly, that we were going to come back. The Sun Devils proving this year's group has a different feel than most. We have just a different chemistry this year, and just playing behind each other, like Coach Ford said, I think that helps a lot, and it's bring us to where we are now. Although the job isn't done yet, as they're hungry for a trip to Oklahoma City. Gratifying to kind of be on this stage and show everybody what we've been doing all year long. Um, Welcome to the party, I guess, is what I would say. Up next for the Sun Devils, they advance on to the Super Regional here in Tempe as they are set to face Northwestern starting this Friday. Reporting in Tempe, Luke Lennon, 12 Sports.